Hi guys, welcome to Dr. Nora's Clinic. In today's episode, I'm gonna be reviewing the Lippmann 3200 Electronic Bluetooth Telescope Edition and letting you guys know whether it's worth the hefty price tag of 700 Australian dollars. Now I have been inundated with requests to have more heart sound videos, lung sound videos, and even bowel sounds videos as well, which don't worry guys, I'm getting to all of these and I'll be doing a big series on how to listen to all of these, what they sound like with a stethoscope. Now previously I used my trusty Lippmann Classic 3 stethoscope to have listened to the heart sounds and I popped in a lapel microphone into the earpiece to directly record the sounds. Now as you can imagine this is very fiddly and it's not always accurate as well. So what I decided to do is to upgrade over to an electronic Bluetooth Lippmann 3200 edition that records directly onto the stethoscope itself, allowing me to listen to those heart sounds, transmit them directly to you guys to hear nice, accurate, crisp sounds. I have to say one thing, this is a much larger box compared to my Lippmann Classic 3 stethoscope, which is quite exciting. Alrighty, so inside the box there are the obligatory manuals that they have to put inside. Another earpiece set which is for smaller ears, so if you do have smaller ears do not fear, they do give you an additional set of earpieces. And of course the piece de la resistance is the beautiful, the absolutely stunning, gorgeous Lippmann 3200 electronic Bluetooth stethoscope edition. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look gorgeous? Look at that! I chose to opt for the all black edition. It does also come in burgundy and navy blue, but as you can see, I think the black works beautifully with the chrome finish. And all of you astute people out there will notice that there's only one side of the diaphragm, so there's no bell, unlike the old classical manual versions, which has got a bell and a diaphragm on both sides. Hmm, why can that be? What does that mean? Well, the great thing about the stethoscope is that it actually has three functions. You can use this chest piece to act as a diaphragm, you can also use it to act as a bell, and you can also use it to act as a bell and a diaphragm, giving you the ability to listen to both high and low frequency sounds, which I think is pretty neat. And you can do this just by toggling on with the electronics at the front here. Now the stethoscope itself relies on a one AA battery, which is included in the box, and you twist the centerpiece like so, and you place it inside and put it back in. Now the manual does say that the battery itself gives you up to 50 to 60 hours of continuous listening with your stethoscope, which is not bad at all. Once you've turned on your device, you'll see that there are two dashes and there is also what looks like a stethoscope on the top. And as you can see here, it's illuminated to represent the diaphragm and we can change this over to be either the bell and the diaphragm or just the bell by itself. Now the main feature of the stethoscope, which is the primary reason I brought it, is the fact that it enables you to record up to 12 30 second tracks. That could be of your heart, your lungs, or even your bowel sounds as well. Now the great thing about this is that you can either replay them straight away, so you can have listened to those tracks you've recorded through your stethoscope. You can even transfer them onto your computer, say for example your Mac or your PC, and you can replay them as a live feed, and you can also store them onto your computer so that you can use them later on. I really like this. I think this is going to give me some great sounds for you guys out there so we can have a listen to the heart together. Once you've used up your 12 tracks or if you simply just want to clear up some storage, you can then either re-record over those tracks or you can delete them straight away. The stethoscope also has a very cool function whereby you can actually talk into the stethoscope and leave a comment on a track that's been recorded. Say for example track number one, I've heard for example an ejection systolic murmur, I can then speak into the stethoscope and say ejection systolic murmur and it will leave a comment by that particular track so that later on down the line when I'm listening to that track I remember, ah oh, that's my murmur that I listened to. Now I think this is an awesome feature for say medical students or cardiologists in training who for example when they're having listened to patients they want to make a mental record of what that sounds like and then they can revise it later on if for example they've got exams coming up. Now one of the other great features about the stethoscope is the fact that you can actually change the audio level of it. So traditionally this beautiful trusty stethoscope that I've used for pretty much all of my working career and my studying life has only got one volume sound which can be a particular problem for example if you're listening to somebody who's got quite low heart sounds or quite quiet lung sounds or even if they've got a quite high body habitus because as we know it's harder to listen through to fat than it would be if a person's quite slim. So the great thing about this is that you can actually amplify the sound. Now out of the box it comes in with one amplification volume. Now this is the equivalent to the sound of your manual stethoscope. Now you can increase the volume to this and I'm pretty impressed by this. You can actually amplify the sound up to 24 times by simply pressing on the plus volume and you will hear it a lot louder. Now that 
is fantastic. Say for example, you're on a busy ward round and there's lots of beepers going off, which we've all been to, and you can't hear the heart sounds, your consultant's breathing down, you're like, tell me what kind of murmur that is. And you think, oh my gosh, I can't hear anything. The ECG's going off there, the bleep is going off there. <laughs> this is great. Or even if you're a bit hard of hearing as well, sometimes you might just need that extra push of the amplification of the volume just to help you to listen. One of the other beneficial features that the Litman 3200 has over, say, for example, your classic Litman 3, is that it has the ability to record the patient's heart rate. If you get a continuous heart rate reading of 10 seconds on the patient's chest, it will then be able to tell you what the heart rate is doing. This is then updated every two seconds. Once the chest piece is taken off the patient, it will then leave the heart rate on for 10 seconds so you can make a recording of this. I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty neat because again, I'm taking that ward round scenario as a junior doctor. How many times have you been asked to check the patient's heart rate? But if you have this, for example, you can pop it on for 10 seconds, you've got your reading and you can say, it's 65 beats a minute. So that is an awesome addition to this and something that I'll be using as well in my next videos when I'm gonna be checking out the heart rate, how it changes during exercise and how it changes during rest as well. So I can't wait to share that with you. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What does this actually sound like? Well, on the box, it tells you that it does reduce ambient noise, which in theory is a beautiful thing because as I'm sure a lot of you out there will know, if you are using your manual stethoscope, you can get a lot of artifact noise, say for example, from clothes rustling or even your fingers moving as well. So I'm gonna show you a clip of what the stethoscope sounds like on a resting human. And I'm also gonna show you a clip of what the manual stethoscope sounds like on a resting human as well. And you guys can let me know what you think is better, this one or this one. Okay, so how did you guys do? Well, for me, certainly I can tell there's a humongous difference between the electronic stethoscope versus my Litman Classic 3. This sounds a lot quieter, there is more rustling and there's a lot more background noise versus my electronic stethoscope, which is a lot louder, it's crisper, and there's a reduction certainly of those ambient noises or those rustling noises as well. Now, whilst it has reduced the ambient noises and the rustling and the crackling of my fingers, I still can hear it and it is present. So it's certainly reduced, but it's not entirely eliminated. So that is something that you should be aware of if you are planning to invest in one of these. Okay, that sounds great, but how do I get the sounds from here onto my computer? Well, let's take a look together. To set up, simply download and install the software from the website. If you don't have Java installed, you will be prompted to also download that and install it. Once that's all set up, simply launch the application and fill in your details. You'll then be prompted to connect to the stethoscope using Bluetooth. If you're running an older computer, a Bluetooth USB adapter is provided for you. However, on my Mac, I could just connect out of the box. Once connected, you can go ahead and import all the files. Also importing details such as your patient's name, where you recorded it, how you recorded it, and all this kind of goodness. Once you're ready, simply select the tracks you'd like to import, and there you have it. You can go ahead and play back the files, making sure to tick play to headphones if you'd like to listen to it on your computer. You can also go ahead and export the files as WAV format, which is amazing. So as you can see, setup is pretty simple on your computer and you're able to download your information from your stethoscope directly onto your computer using the Steth Assist app from the Litman website. But bearing in mind, you do need to update Java if you haven't already done so. Okay, Litman 3200, are you worth it? Well, purely for the fact that you can record up to 12 tracks for 30 seconds each, I have to say it is worth it. It's definitely useful for those of you out there who may be budding cardiologists, medical students who just wanna remember what an aortic stenosis sounds like or what an ejection systolic murmur sounds like or even what a pneumonia sounds like as well. You can record it, play it back and remember it for your examinations or even in the future as well when you're on those ward rounds on your own or a night shift, not knowing what the diagnosis is. It comes with a two-year manufacturer's warranty, which covers you for any material breakage, but unfortunately, any damage to the chest piece or the ear pieces, you'll have to replace on the Litman website yourself. It comes in three funky colors, black, burgundy, navy blue, and it's also pretty seamless to set up with your computer. As with every good thing, there are some cons. And yes, this is fairly expensive at around 700 Australian dollars. It's not something that I particularly will be using every day. I think it's something that I'll be using on a and as required basis, if I do hear a fascinating heart sound or a different lung sound, I'm definitely gonna bring this out and have a listen and record. 
In the meanwhile though, I'm gonna be using my cheaper, much, much cheaper $100 manual stethoscope to listen to those normal heart sounds, normal lung sounds. But certainly for recording purposes, this is the way forward. Unfortunately, it doesn't yet connect onto my latest smartphone, which is the iPhone 11 Pro. It would be awesome if it did, in which case I could just kind of go around playing my heart sounds on the tube, on the train. <laughs> okay, I might get a few funny faces for that, but you get the idea. One other interesting observation to note is that the chest piece doesn't record the heart sounds very well if the patient's slightly sweaty or they've got slightly wet skin. So always make sure that you're contacting a dry surface so that you can get good transmission of sounds through the chest piece itself. It does also feel a little bit heavier than my normal manual stethoscope. So it might become a little tedious when you've always got it around your neck on those ward rounds. It kind of really bears down on you. Oh my gosh, so heavy. <laughs> So there you have it, the Lipman 3200 stethoscope unboxing and setup. It's pretty simple, it's quite neat, and I will be using this in my future videos for listening for heart sounds, lung sounds, and bowel sounds as well. What did you guys think? Let me know if you'd be interested in getting one of these for yourself, or whether you think you'd rather just stick to a manual stethoscope. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful, and as always, if you have any comments or suggestions, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. But for now, take care and stay healthy.